Hi, I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today in the studio with Belinda Cook, the Executive Director of the Queen Anne's County Arts Council and she's going to tell us about some programs that they have, different workshops, classes and some of their big events coming up. Go ahead, Belinda, tell us what, Hi, what's going on. Thanks for having me come in and talk to you about it. I'm so excited about what we're doing at the Arts Council. We are um, offering more workshops and classes, um, a lot geared to kids to try to get families involved in Wonderful. the council. And we've got several events upcoming that, you know, I really, really am excited about. One of them is the Treasures at the Eastern Shore exhibit that starts on Friday that features all of our local Eastern Shore treasures from food to art. And I'm excited about that because we have part of the exhibit down at the Chesapeake Heritage right. and Visitor Center at Kent Narrows. So you That's can come right. in there also and see some of the artwork that goes with that. We've got Will Hemsley and um, Brian Draper. A lot of our local guys are here. Jay Fleming. Nice. And that's up, what What are the dates of that exhibit again? It's up April 4th through July 2nd in your location. It okay. comes down on May 16th at the Center for the Arts. Okay. Because we start our START program, which okay. is our student, teachers, and art. We go into all of the middle schools in the county with a working artist and create something. And this is Jonathan Shaw and Maria Sage from Centerville, I think Centerville Middle School, either last year or the year before. And Jonathan's doing it again this year. They go and they create okay. a, a piece of art, and the students get to learn what it's like to be an artist. That's and then wonderful. we exhibit their works at the Arts Council for two weeks, and we do an opening reception or closing reception, uh, closing reception on May 16th. And this one, I see he actually brought the bird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's a treasure. He's one of our treasures, our Eastern Shore treasures. But very we've got nice. John Pringle and Gene Higgins is actually going to do clay this year. So we're very okay. excited about that program. Okay, and what other kids' activity programs, workshops? Well, we've got a, a ton of summer camps this year. We've got a performing arts camp. Um, this is the Alice in Wonderland camp with Maria Sage. She's coming up from Ken Island to do that for us. It's very okay. popular on Ken Island, so I'm hoping a lot of the kids will take advantage of that. And that's for the younger group. That's like four to eight-year-olds. So performing arts is more for the third grade to eighth grade. Seal Amber Setti is coming over from St. Mary. She's done the camp over there for 17 years, and she's bringing it here to the shore. Okay. And we've got a painting uh, workshop with Amy Cummins, a local artist. So we've got lots of things going on. Zumbini, mommy and daughter Zumbini on May 31st. Oh, okay. So yeah, you got to get in for that the quick and because the child it and will capacity. So nice. Heather Eafland is coming up for that. She lives in Centerville and she teaches at Ken Allen Elementary School. So we've got. Lots of kids stuff going on. Okay, and what about for the adults? What oh. do you have for adults? Well, we've expanded <laughs> Where to begin? some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we've got fitness classes. I, you know, kept getting asked repeatedly. You know, if you do a boot camp or you do Zumba, mm -hmm. we will come, and it's true. They have come. So we have Great. Zumba, we have uh, yoga, stretch and tone yoga. We okay. have ballroom dancing with Amanda Scholl. She's been there for years. She's fantastic. And she's hosting a dance party on April 14th for salsa. So oh. everyone come on down. She'll give you a 30-minute lesson. And I was going to ask if you, you have to know how to salsa. No. Or, no. Okay, so anybody can come in and mm -hmm. learn And then you dance steps. for two hours. It's, I, I can't wait. Okay. Uh, I can't dance, but I can't wait. So. <laughs> and I know you have some other event type things coming up. And one is a favorite of mine, Wine and Canvas. Yeah, for the first time. At your suggestion, we're going <laughs> to offer that at the Arts Council. Um, you come in, you sit around with your friends for a couple hours, and you paint. And they tell me that anybody can do it, so I'm going to try it too. I can vouch for that, that <laughs> anybody can do it. They give you the, the easel. I mean, the, they have an easel. You get your canvas, you get your brushes, your paint, and an apron. And they walk you through step by step. And it is so much fun. And oh, and just released, you know, in, in celebration of the opening of crab season, we're painting a crab. Oh, okay. So that's, our, that's ours for this time. We're going to paint a crab. Very nice. And everybody will walk out of there with a crab painting yeah, then. And it's yeah. it's nice to see how different people have different perspectives on how it should look. Well, I just can't wait to see what mine looks like. <laughs> and what other events do you have coming up? I know a big one, now that the weather hopefully is getting nice, is Thursdays in the park. When does yeah. that start? And We kick off on June 12th with a local band, a Scotty McGlashan's band, the Country Gentleman over at Millstream Park. And we end on the 21st of August with Bobby and the Believers wow. at the Mattapique Amphitheater. So I'm really excited about that. Wait, and if you haven't ever been to that location, Mattapique, it's where Mattapique Beach and Clubhouse is. It's where the old ferry terminal was on Ken Allen. And it's a beautiful location. What a backdrop to have the bay right behind you. Well, as a Ken Allen girl, I'm, I can't wait. I absolutely can't very wait. Nice, so. Very nice, very nice. 
and any other events i know you, you we don't really want to talk about Christmas and winter and all, but I know you guys do heck with the malls. Yeah, and we're going to expand it this year, I think, because there was such need for it. And, you know, it was so well attended. I think we're going to either expand the hours or add to it in some way, try okay. to connect with the, you know, artisans downtown in Centerville and connect and, and do something a little bit more on that. And we also have plans for a nutcracker tea. So, oh, okay. So December's nice. going to be a busy month for us this year. Okay, and I know we're jumping all around. I know you have an artist workshop coming up. Um, market your art, mm -hmm. and um, many of our artists that belong to the council had asked for some workshops and, and classes that would pertain to them, which is kind of a switch. I really hadn't thought about it until we asked. So, you know, they need help in getting their arts marketed. And right presenting them in the right way or starting a business. So we're trying to accomplish that too, to have something there for the artist to learn from as well. Very nice. So you have quite a bit going on. We Any, do. Anything else that you want to share with us or how can we find out more about your events? Our website is uh, revamped. Go to www.queenanscountyarts.com and you can apply for scholarships for tell high school seniors. Tell us about the scholarship if program. If you live in Queen Anne's County and you're a high school senior and you plan to pursue your bachelor's degree in, in the arts of some sort, you are eligible to apply for $1,000 scholarships. Wow. Okay. So that deadline is May 1st. It's open now. The scholarship application is available on the website. And okay. then we also give out grants to local community arts organizations, uh, the chorus or the chorale or, right. you know, and we, that's called a CAD grant. And they're available on our website too. The deadline for those is May 14th. So I encourage anyone to apply. And then we give out grants to the schools. Okay. to bring exhibits into the schools or programs. It's kind of a way that we help keep the arts in the schools. So really, a lot of people might think Arts Council, it's just where you can go to see paintings or oh, that no. kind of stuff. And there's really so much other- Oh, there's so much more. Going on, mm -hmm. so many other things going on there. Um, I would suggest definitely going to the website. Uh, what days are you open? Can people just walk into yes. the building? And where are you located? We're located at 206 South Commerce Street. And we're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4, and on okay. Saturdays, 10 to 2. Excellent, excellent. But call anytime. Go to the website. The number is 410-758-2520. All right. Well, Belinda, thank you for coming in, and I'm sure we'll see you over the next couple months talking about some of these other events coming up and reminding everybody. I hope so. All right. Thank, thank you. you.